Repetitive Stories by Ken Anderson Narrated by Hazel Lomax Copyright Ken Anderson 2005 Asla and her grandfather. Page two. Listen and repeat. I like dogs. I do not like cats. Ali gets up early on Mondays. He does not get up early on Sundays. Aisha has lunch at 12. She does not have lunch at 3. The sun rises in the east. It does not rise in the west. We live in Istanbul. We do not live in London. The students go to school on Mondays. They do not go to school on Sundays. Page 4 Asla is a little girl. She is 8 years old. She is a student. She has got a cat. It is called Tekir. Asla likes Tekir very much. They play together, go to school together and even go to bed together. Asla lives with her father and mother in a small city. She has got a grandfather with a white beard. He lives in a village near the city. He is a beekeeper. He has got some hives in the garden of his house. There are a lot of honey bees in his hives. It's July. School finishes. Asla is on holiday. She goes to the village to visit her grandfather. Tekir goes with her. When they arrive at the village, the grandfather meets them. In the morning, Asla gets up early and washes her face. There is some honey, cheese, butter and milk for breakfast. At that time, Tekir comes. He wags his tail and meows. He wants some milk. The grandfather gives him some fresh milk. Asla and her grandfather have breakfast. And then they go out because her grandfather is going to show her his bees. In the garden, a lot of bees are buzzing. Some are flying. Tekir is running after them. Asla asks her grandfather, Grandpa, what do honeybees do? Where do they live? How can they fly? How do they make honey? Can you tell me about them? The grandfather says, Certainly, my honey. Honey bees are hard-working animals. They work very hard. They have got wings so they can fly from one flower to another. Bees can see flowers easily. 
Look at a bee, Asla. You can see only two eyes, but a bee has got nearly twelve thousand eyes. You can see them under a microscope. A bee has got two stomachs. One is the honey stomach, the other is the real stomach. Bees sometimes swarm. Queen bees lay many many eggs. These eggs hatch into worker bees. Hives become very crowded. Old bees leave hives. An old queen usually lives with them. They fly in a swarm to a tree. A beekeeper watches his swarm. He doesn't want to lose his bees. He brings a new hive. He shakes the bees into a basket and puts them in the new hive. The bees do their jobs. They live together in the hive happily, says the grandfather. Asla says, "Thank you, Grandpa. I understand that honey bees are social animals because they don't live alone. They live together. They have got stings." So they can protect themselves against enemies. They can rule themselves because they have got queen bees. By the way, may I ask you a question about queen bees? Yes, of course, answers the grandfather. Asla asks, "Has a queen bee got a crown?" The grandfather laughs and says, "You are joking." They are not real queens; they are animal queens. They don't wear crowns. When the lunch time comes, Asla and her grandfather go home together. The grandfather cooks some chicken. Asla sets the table. She puts two spoons, two forks, and two plates on the table. She brings some salt and pepper, and then she makes salad. She slices two tomatoes. She peels some onions and a cucumber, and she slices them too. Her grandfather grows them in the garden. Asla sits at a table, but she doesn't eat anything. She waits for her grandfather. Her grandfather comes and sits at the table. He has lunch. Asla has lunch too. They have lunch together. After lunch, they leave home. The grandfather is going to show Asla the animals on the farm, but Tekir doesn't go with them. He stays at home. And sleeps. Asla cries, "Grandpa, Grandpa, there is a dog here. I am afraid of it." The grandfather says, "Don't be afraid of him. His name is Carabash. He is a cute animal. He doesn't bite. He always helps us. At night, he sometimes sleeps." And sometimes stays awake. When a wild animal comes to the village, he barks. He doesn't want wild animals or strangers on the farm. Asla, follow me. I am going to feed the animals on the farm," says the grandfather. Hens eat corn. Cows eat grass. Hens lay eggs. But cows don't lay eggs. Cows give milk. Milk is good for you. Asla says, "Look at these chicks and that calf. They are very little and sweet. They look like their mothers, don't they?" Yes, they do. Baby animals look like their fathers and mothers. Chicks. Look like hens and cocks.
Hens are their mothers. Cocks are their fathers. There is a goose and a turkey among them. The chicks don't look like them, answers the grandfather. Grandpa, how many animals have you got? asks Asla. The grandfather answers. I have got a lot of animals, but I sometimes take them to the market. Asla asks, Why do you take them to the market? The grandfather answers, Because I sell them for some money. The grandfather has got a donkey. Her name is Menekshe. The next day, the grandfather, Asla, and Menekshe set out to go to the forest near the village. Asla rides on Menekshe, but the grandfather doesn't ride on her. He goes on foot. Asla says, Grandpa, what a wonderful day today. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, the butterflies are dancing. Everything in the village is fascinating to me. The grandfather says, Spring and summer are more beautiful than autumn and winter in our village. There are trees with fruit, flowers and green grass everywhere. But winter has got another different beauty. When it snows, it covers the ground and trees. Asla and her grandfather are happy because they are far away from noisy and crowded cities. While they are on the way to the forest, they see a fountain on the right side of the path. Menekshe brays because she is thirsty. She wants to drink some water. She drinks some water. Asla and her grandfather drink some water too. Soon, some sheep and their lambs come along. The lambs are very beautiful. Asla strokes all of them. She likes especially the snow-white lamb. She gives it some grass because sheep and goats like grass. When they arrive at the forest, they see a small lake among the trees. The grandfather shows Asla the swans and ducks swimming in the lake. There is a waterfall near the lake in the forest. Everything is wonderful in the forest, says Asla happily. Grandpa, where does the water of the lake come from? asks Asla. The grandfather answers, It comes from streams and rivers. Asla asks again, What kind of animals live in the forest? Wild animals, such as bears, lions and wolves, live in the forest, answers the grandfather. While they are talking, a deer comes and drinks some water from the lake. The grandfather says, Deer are friendly animals. If you help a deer, it makes friends with you. When it becomes dark, Asla and her grandfather go back home. Every day, Asla goes under a tree near the farmhouse. She plays with the animals reads some books and writes some letters to her friends. Asla is writing to one of her friends now. Hi, I'm writing to you from Chamlebel. It is a beautiful village in the mountains. The weather is warm and sunny here. My grandfather lives here. He is alone because my grandmother is dead. Life in this village is really fun. I get up early every morning. My grandfather and I go out to have a sniff of fresh air. Then 
We gather eggs from the hens. I love the way they cluck. We cook eggs and make breakfast. We also drink milk. In the afternoon, I go for a walk. In the evening, I come back home. After dinner, Grandpa and I sit outside. Grandpa tells me stories. I slowly fall asleep while I'm listening to Grandpa's soft, loving voice. I dream about my family every night because I miss them very much here. I hope you will come and visit me. Everybody is very friendly and everything is very beautiful here. Cham La Belle is a wonderful village. I am having so much fun. Love, Asla. A few days before school starts, Asla comes back to her family in the city. She kisses her mum and dad. They hug each other. They live happily ever after. Page 25. Picture Dictionary. Alone. Afraid. Among. To arrive. To bark. Bear. Beard. Bee. Beekeeper. Butterfly. To buzz. Chick. Cock. Circle. City. To cluck. To cook. Cow. Corn. Crown. Cucumber. Deer. To dream. Duck. To feed. Forest. Fork. Fountain. To gather. Goat. Goose, grass, hard working, to hatch, to have a sniff, hen, to hug, lake, lamb, to lay eggs, letter. Lion. To look like. To lose. Mountain. Onion. Path. To peel. Pen. Plate. To ride. To set the table. To shake. Sheep. To slice. Spoon. Sting. Stream. To stroke. Stomach. Swan. Swarm. To tell a story. Tomato. Toy. Village. To wag. To wait for. Waterfall. Wild. Wing. 
Wolf.